hey what is up my beauties and welcome back to my channel it's your girl silver monique and welcome 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 back before we get into this video make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel because you already know what's going on you already know from the title what we're about to talk about today so i'm going to give you guys this pregnancy update okay today was my baby shower and so that's why i look halfway decent I'm gonna include like some clips of you know what's been going on like the past week two weeks or whatever and i'm just like well since i did my hair and i did my makeup and i got my nails done i might as well just go ahead and give y'all this update tonight because this might be the only time y'all see me like this until my baby is here so let's go ahead and give you guys this update i'm gonna go ahead and go to this app and see what it says so currently today as of today in this video i am 36 weeks and four days so new updates about your baby and body are available so it says silver baby is as big as a, br a bunch of kale silver's baby is as big as a bunch of kale okay i'm reading right um so i have four more weeks to go can't wait oh my gosh wait i can't but i can't like i'm scared but then i'm excited like i'm so ready to not be pregnant anymore but then i'm scared for the no medicine birth the water birth just going through that and yeah it says the baby should be at least 18 to 19 inches six pounds so some common changes or some common symptoms um changes in fetal movement as your baby quarters get more cramped and she has less room to maneuver expect fetal movements to change too you should still feel baby moving but there will be less jabbing and kicking and a lot more squirming yeah i don't know about that i be feeling she be kicking she i feel a lot of movement and yeah that's all i'm gonna say i just feel a lot of movement but yeah heartburn or indigestion as your stomach gets pushed up and squeezed by your uterus, you may feel like eating less at meal times. That's not necessarily bad news. Smaller meals are better for your digestive system. It may actually control heartburn. I haven't had any heartburn since the last time I had heartburn, which was the last time I made my updated video. No heartburn. So I'm proud about that. I think I mentioned that in my last video. But yeah, I've had heartburn for the first time um, like a week or two ago and yeah i could not go to sleep at all so that was definitely kicking my ass bloating and gas if as if heartburn weren't enough you're probably passing gas and burping like a frat boy those two shall pass no i haven't that's that hasn't been a problem constipation still hasn't been a problem um more freaking urination yes i be feeling like i have to go to the bathroom every 30 minutes like it's really bad but i'd be so thirsty at the same time and i love just drinking ice cold water and with this weather just getting so it's getting so hot outside and so i'd be needing water and so it's like i can't just not drink water because i need it and it's getting hot um vaginal discharge streak with blood no haven't had any of that so it says the discharge from your vagina may be increasing and getting thinner don't be shocked if you notice the mucus and it's pinkish red or brownish after you've had sex or a vaginal examination that just means that your cervix which is sensitive now and may be starting to dilate has been bruised none of that she belly your belly might feel as if it's stretched to the breaking point by now creams containing cocoa butter or vitamin e may can soothe that itchy abdomen and bring some relief better still get your partner to rub it on your belly and do some bonding with the baby underneath see i can't do any we can't do any bonding and i apologize if y'all y'all hear kids in the background yes all my nieces and nephews probably besides like two is out there but i'm gonna go with them together because they supposed to be laying down and it's late y'all it's 10 they can go to sleep all right y'all so like i said i got them together got them laying down watching a movie okay until they fall asleep but let's go ahead and look at the rest of these symptoms or changes i almost broke my nail trying to close the door but 
let's go ahead and finish this so i think i was talking about itchy belly but yeah definitely itchy belly is one of those things that i've been experiencing since like day one and so um that's not even like a real change to me um but i definitely need to go get some cocoa butter and some vitamin e because i don't have any of that right now and i don't have my partner here so it sucks he can't rub my tummy for me but it is what it is so um they they're saying edema again swelling and feet and ankles um none of that and i better not get none of that i swear i didn't get that i didn't get that with my first so Um, insomnia, sleep may be more elusive than ever as you toss this way and that looking for the perfect position. Make sure your room isn't too stuffy. You're sure to feel overheated as the night wears on by opening a window or lowering the thermostat. I swear to God, I'll be so hot when I want to sleep. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, my body just be overheating or something. Um, nesting instinct. It's normal to be tired by the time you hit week 36 but you may also get the burst of extra my baby moving right now so i'm like girl but you may also get the burst of extra energy known as the nesting instinct a need to get organized and ready for the baby if you do feel energized take breaks to rest and eat y'all yeah. and i feel like that's been happening to me now like i've been having like these bursts of energy out of nowhere like i know before i was telling y'all like i'd be feeling drained and i don't be having no energy but like now i'd be having these bursts of energy like right now like i'm doing this video and it's 10 15 at night and usually i would be like super tired they not lying about this the upcoming tests and screenings the biophysical profile at week 28 group b strep do you belong to the large group of women with group b strep so i actually did that my last appointment and everything came back normal so i'm happy about that um the biophysical profile um don't know what that is i might look more into that to see what that is but the group b strep um, i'm glad that came back normal but yeah that's pretty much it for the 36 weeks and four days update for you guys and like i said i'm going to go ahead and include some videos from this past week so you guys can get an update on what's been going on and let's just go ahead and get into it So today I have to go to the chiropractor. I am currently 35 weeks. And so I'm gonna put this with my 35 weeks, 36 week update. And so I gotta go to the chiropractor. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys with me and tell you about my experience. All right, you guys, so I made it to the chiropractor and it was really nice and clean. And the lady at the front, she was really nice and professional. But this is my first time at the chiropractor ever like i really wish i'd known about this years ago or with my first pregnancy but i'm just glad that i'm here and that they can help relax my back this back pain and neck pain i was really surprised once i got back there and saw how small the room was i don't know what i was expecting but i guess i was just expecting something big i didn't record while i was getting my massage and exercises because i didn't want to be weird but this is me afterwards i was feeling good i was feeling relaxed and i was feeling just less tension all around so now that I'm done with the chiropractor, I'm about to go ahead and go get me a smoothie bowl because I did not eat this morning. And so I'm about to go to Jumbo Juice right now and go get me a smoothie bowl because I'm hungry. And so come with me, y'all. Y'all finna come with me to Jumbo Juice so I can go get my, my smoothie bowl. I got my bowl. Hmm, y'all think this is worth it? $10 so I just want to show y'all how it looks with the top off. Now, I haven't tried this kind. This is called like tropical pataya, something like that from Jamba Juice. And so let's just try it. This smoothie could have been a little bit thicker. All right, so day before baby shower, me and my daughter, I took us out to just go get our feet and nails done. You know, that's always relaxing, just sitting back and getting your feet done, just pampering yourself. But I went ahead and got her toes painted and got her nails painted. Stop it. 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 Stop it.
So it is currently super early in the morning and today is the day of my baby shower. I need to just start getting ready. I woke up at like 7.30 just thinking about all the things I have to do and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I know some of y'all know how it is, but I need to do my hair, you guys. I need my hair twisted so I can be flat so I can put this wig on. And so that's the first thing we're going to focus on is my hair. So let me go ahead and because I need to brush my teeth, wash my face, do all that getting ready stuff. So yeah, let's get to it. I would do like my whole little morning routine for my face, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to just wash my face with a rag with some hot water. And yeah, we finna get ready. All right, y'all, so I'm done braiding my hair. This wig is almost dry, but this is as flat as this head gonna get. I'm about to go ahead and apply the wig cap and just do my hair. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So here are just some clips from my baby shower. I didn't really get anyone to record like i wanted for my baby shower it was just a lot going on you guys y'all know for like events like this and stuff it's just too it just be too much going on and so and i was already running behind from my own baby shower but this is it i loved it i thought everything came together perfectly and i was very happy about the turnout all right you guys so that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you all on the next video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe hit that like button hit that notification bell and i will see you all on the next video